I thought it was Should business. we make it a challenge to not curse <clears throat> once this entire episode? I think we can do that. You think so? Yeah. Who do you think will break it first? Me. Nah. Of course. <laughs> what's the punishment? I'm really bad. I don't know. What is the punishment? No, how about what's the prize? What's the prize? I think the punishment should be a noogie that I have that I have to sneak in a word because <laughs> that's punishment. Oh for me. yeah, that's hell. Yeah, Bubba. and I have to I have to <laughs> and I have to sneak Hell's in. A place. <laughs> I have to I have to sneak in. I have to sneak in ten words. <laughs> ten very difficult words. <laughs> and if you don't, yeah, like snuggleboyum, <laughs> astronomical. Was Noogie a real thing? Do you know anybody that got Noogied? Or wait, Me? no. Yeah, no, Noogie. The, the like this swirly. One, right? I'm thinking of the swirly. Oh, oh yeah. You know, in the toilet. I'm sure it's happened, but like not in my time. Like I've never seen or my, heard of anybody getting. My sh- mom did it to my brother. Oh, oh that's. Oh, for, oh, for, for what? For cursing. Punishment? Gave him a swirly? Like, like the toilet water. Because the thing is, when my I'm surprised that I'm surprised child services didn't come in. That was a different time. That was a different time. Uh, my when my mom threatened, she meant it. So we, because like you know how parents would be like, we're gonna go home right now, and you don't go home, we went home. Come oh, back. like I'm gonna turn this car around. She actually did. So it. the first thing she can think of, she was like, say it again, and I'll shove your head down the toilet. And he said it again, so she was like, oh, I gotta but a, a noogie is like when you just a knuckle knuckle onto someone's head, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And then wedgies are you know pulling the underwear. Oh, I've gotten my fair share of wedgies. Have you? Yeah. What about like a wet by will- my brother? A wet willy. By my, oh, brother. Yeah. my brother would do the wet willy wet all the time. Oh, Ew, that gross. is like gross. so wrong. It's so gross. It's what? also like disgusting giving it to somebody. Yes. Like I would never want to. Yeah, and in Ew. there, that's gross. You just like, and you've just captured every single thing in that ear. And what are you gonna do with your? Now you gotta wipe your hands. And I'm sure you didn't wipe or wash your hands. It's what, disgusting. What are you doing? It's yeah. Disgusting. But like, right. that's always such a trope in movies where they, they give the kid a wedgie and then they hang him like on the bathroom <laughs> yeah. like, yes. the hook. But I don't think I've ever come, seen come anybody on, get guys, it. Come on, guys, come on. Yeah. I remember, I remember that one scene in Jackass. Oh, yeah? <laughs> in Jackass where the, it was like the, the remember the wedgie the one? The ultimate, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, he didn't, didn't he like bleed through his entire like crap? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that one was bad. That was bad. I remember that watching that movie with everybody. That was a really crazy. Yeah, they went out with a bang for sure. They did. That was their last one, right? Mm-hmm. Jackass yeah. forever. Okay, all right. Mm. Um, en el tres, a dos, a no unos. It's, it's coming time, time, baby. Let's go. Very good. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are... Bullied. (laughs) (laughs) Before we talk about our weekend, we want to give a big thank you to Accelerator for getting us through and keeping us energized and uh, tasting good stuff the entire time on our taste buds. Yeah, uh, and you know what? Thank you for providing Accelerators uh, for Matt's bachelor party trip. We got a a heck ton in in the Nashville house and everybody, dude, there was empty cans everywhere. Oh, they were hooked. Everybody loved it. It was like the perfect way to start every day, especially since we had a very wild weekend and i wasn't drinking for like half the time so this came in perfectly this is the perfect drink it's a to great drink. substitute like if you go out like if you don't want to drink or anything just bring one of these puppies it's just so sweet it makes you feel like you're drinking a cocktail and every flavor is good there's not a single oh, bad by, flavor by the way i have a new fl- favorite flavor it's not igu- uh, iguana <laughs> it's not <laughs> I, it's not island guava anymore what is what it? What is it? It's cherry lime. Oh, that's yeah. my favorite. It's, it's so, so good. good. I actually, we picked them up on the way to the wedding and I forgot we had them. We put them in the mini, in the mini fridge at the hotel and we got back from the party. Yeah. And I had to edit the ad reads and get the episode up. And I was shot and I was like, let me just like grab a water mm. and like try to stay awake. And we had, you ex- forgot they were in there. I forgot the accelerators were in there. Wow, and I was like, I there got, you go. I got a second wind just from looking at it. If you want to try an accelerator, you can get them at any of your local targets. You can get them at Vons. You can almost also- every gas station I've <gasps> been to. I don't know exactly which gas stations, but like pretty much most of them. You can yeah. get, you and can if get they don't at. have it, demand it. Yeah, that's right. Love you. Accelerate. Thank you. Mm. We just had a very, a very emotional and lovely weekend. We mm. were just in Santa Barbara for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Volpes, Joe and Caitlin Volpes' Woo-hoo! wedding. Woo! It was so beautiful. And it was like a small wedding too. And I loved that. Oh, it was we, so much fun. I felt like we were like a part of the wedding. Yeah. Like yeah. It, was, it was nice. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you you personally meet uh, Joe's uh, parents? Yeah. Mom and yes, dad? I did. He looks nothing like them. But he, he acts but he just acts like, like Joe. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. acts yes. just like Joe. Him, his father is his father. When he did his speech, I was like, oh, that's all Joe. His dad gave some really great stories and like speeches and stuff. I loved his dad's speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was adorable. It was so cute. I could listen to him all day. He was so cute. Mm-hmm. Like just like. He looked like like in an, like he invented something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or he, <laughs> he looked like a movie perfect. producer too. Like yes. Patricia was like, who's that guy? Yeah. Like right when we got there, she's like, he looks really important. <laughs> yeah, he had a presence. Yeah. He was like yeah. Little, but also, just yeah, cool. he carried himself well. I walked by. I walked by his mom, and his mom's like, "I've seen your face before." <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. I was like, "Get away, creep!" <laughs> Beat it, weirdo. Beat it. <laughs> Beat it, nerd. Yeah, his uh, his dad came up and was like. So I'm guessing you've eaten in the car with Joe. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> yeah. That's so he has cute. something against him about those mukbangs, huh? He kept yeah. bringing up like, like <laughs> making fun of him for his career. <laughs> so good. Let's talk about the lead up to the wedding. Oh yes, boy, no. yes. Oh my goodness. You, want, so you start off with the 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 big monster monsoon. Hurricane Hillary. Before, <laughs> Hurricane Hillary was mad she wasn't invited. <laughs> the so. amount of people that messaged me like we're praying for you guys out there. It looks really. Yeah. <laughs> and then once everybody started messaging me, I was like, okay, maybe I should be like more concerned. Yeah, because I thought like it wasn't going to be a big deal. And then suddenly I was like, wait, no. And and the I- only reason why I was concerned is because a hurricane has not gone up that way in how many years? Right. Uh, so hurricane, yeah, they said it was like in the th- 1938 was like yeah, the last Yeah, like it's big. crazy. So my last, head was like, oh, this is like a sign. Last one to hit like a hurricane to make landfall was 1858 in mm-hmm. California. What? That's crazy. Because they said so, this hurricane, by the time it got to LA, it would just be a tropical storm. Right. So yeah. it wasn't the actual hurricane. But some people were like looking at some maps that were saying, no, this can get worse because the way yes. the air patterns were coming down, they were like, there's a lot of like warm air that's going to push this even up. Yes. I was, I, I, there was that moment of panic where I, when I realized, oh my gosh, we're going to a destination wedding in yes. Santa Barbara, down the PCH, through canyons. Yeah, right next to the like, water. I was like, oh my God, we're going on a damn quest here. I started getting really paranoid. Bless you. Thank you. I started getting Me really too. paranoid because I was like, oh my gosh, like our house is built in like the 30s. Like yeah. it, I don't know if it can withstand. Nothing out here is That's built the biggest for, thing. Nothing's for hurricanes built for weather. and rain. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting a little scared. Like we already have leaks at a minor rain. Mm-hmm. So then I started like prepping everything. I'm going through my house. I'm taking videos of all like the camera equipment. I was like, if something happens, we flood. I, yep. I want to have like some sort of proof for insurance. And then um, we were also just like worried like, because the, I knew that they were going to have to pivot the wedding to be accommodating for the weather. And yeah. I was like, I hope that they can do something in order to like make it still happen. Because the venue, the, the whole venue is like outside. Based on being was outside. outside. Yeah. And it's not, it's not easy to just cancel a wedding. Yeah. Like you really can't. And it wasn't like a wedding venue. It was an estate. Like yes, it was someone's part. So it, yeah. So it was like, you can't just cancel it, especially the people that own it. They're not going to, they don't right. care about and the every week, it's, it's, it's wedding season. Every yeah. weekend's booked. Like exactly. you're not going to get. Do you know how much they had to end up paying to get the I tails? Yes. 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 She told, uh, the I know mom the mom told, told me. me and I was like, oh, right. Yes. Horrible. But like, horrible. I, for, for people that have to deal with that, it's already like a horrible scenario to be in where you're yeah. like, to charge that much to put up like tents that are rented. I'm like, but I feel he, like you should buy a package at least that's cheaper just in case it's there. Yeah. Here's like, the thing though. It's not like the property had that tent stuff. This was like a company that does yeah, they tent. Had to, so like they have to be paid. Uh, so I'm like, they can't just like get it for free. And the the wedding venue is not going I to I bet that tent that. guy was looking at the hurricane <laughs> yeah. coming in yeah. going, we're going to yeah. be getting some calls. Buy a yeah. couple more because we're going to be renting yeah. them out. They yeah. definitely jacked up the price because of the weather because that's absurd. Yeah, that yeah. was hurricane I rate. wouldn't even guess anything near what no. they paid yeah. for a tent. I, it, yes, exactly. It's a tent. It's, it's metal tent. poles. And we should have just made it ourselves. Oh. Matt, Matt, you should have started knitting one. I should have. <laughs> yeah, but, but then when you like looked at the tent, like the lights and the chandelier, and I was like, oh, this is like a fancy tent. It was tent. nice. It was, <laughs> it was a fancy yeah. tent. It was no, not just like basic Target tent. Yeah, it wasn't like Dodger Stadium, like yeah, yeah no, covering a hot dog elegant. stand. Yeah. It was beautiful. But it, it worked out. I... I we told them, we said like, it's almost better to, not better, but like, it's okay to have bad weather because this is gonna be a memorable wedding. Yeah. And on top of the hurricane, we were all getting oh. ready, literally hair and makeup, getting ready, leaving in 10 minutes. 
earthquake. Oh we're, yeah! Oh my oh. god! We were on the earthquake. second on the second floor, so we really we were just sitting here like this, and we looked at each other. I'm like, I thought someone was having sex at first. <laughs> I was like, damn, someone is going at yes. it at three in the afternoon. We've talked about this before, but when an earthquake happens, the last thing you think is earthquake. Yeah. yeah. For you, some reason, you're like so confused. Why don't we think earthquake until afterwards? You think get... someone's just making a ruckus? Yeah. So you think someone is just on yes. the door frame, just moving? And you know what, Matt? I wasn't surprised because boy, those walls are thin. Hey, yeah. you hear everything hey, through first. those walls at that hotel. Bro, I could hear conversations of like a couple, like right behind, I could hear every word. Like you could literally hear everything that's going on in the next bedroom. Ella, Taylor, and Danielle were right above us. I heard everything. Oh, you did? They, I heard what time they got they, home. They, they, they talked shit. I heard who they were what, talking what, shit about. <laughs> I'm not gonna say, maybe on the unwinds. But Ella, that, they, they say anything about me? Couple that things. moment though, cause couple that earthquake, it, it, so it was a 5.1, 5 5.2, 5 5 yeah. And it, it lasted was big. long too. It was Dude. Long. And that's when your brain really goes into shock because you're like, oh, oh, it's an earthquake. You get kind of excited, <laughs> right. and then it's still going, and you're like, right. oh, this and is then, it. This is the big like, one. I'm on the second floor. There's yes. a third floor, so I'm crushed in the middle of this. And we're yes. right in front of the ocean. Like that was also my first thought. And like, luckily, like tsunami. Yeah, but the fault line though doesn't start like it's not in the ocean. The San Andreas is inland, so like one, a tsunami can't happen in California. We look but out it can the happen. window. We see the start of the fault. The Wait. Like, all the way down. <laughs> I looked at the window and I saw this like girl just like walking. Cause I instantly, right when it was happening, I was like, I gotta outside. see outside yes. what's happening. And this girl was just walking and suddenly just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like still. Like, like a sim. Yeah, she just like, Wait, I thought you don't like really feel it outside. You feel it mostly inside because everything usually, around you is you shaking feel, You feel too. it more. Don't. We got those phone alerts like Dude, on that. The dot. Yes. I wasn't freaking out really. I like, like you said, like you get kind of excited until that thing came in. Like it was an alert that was like, uh, take earthquake, cover. take cover, duck and hide. Yes. And I was like, I and we've we've never gotten that here. That why do they have it out? I, in yeah, because I feel like we get alerts. No, when there's one. Jordan, like Jordan got it here. Oh, you did. But did you yeah. feel it? Yeah. No, I didn't feel it. We never got alerts like that. Even no, like a never. month ago, we didn't get alerts. Like I think it was depends. the tone that really freaked me. Yes, out. it was like get down, cover. Now. And run for your life. I called Zane, Zane's like, it told me to stop, drop, and roll. I was like, <laughs> no, that's a fire, Zane, read it again. It was crazy. And he was like, are you okay? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, the earthquake, you didn't feel it? I was like, I'm in the elevator. I didn't feel anything. Oh, that's even worse. Imagine oh. being yeah, stuck in the elevator. Yeah, could you imagine? When, when an earthquake starts to happen, like I know us, when we were sitting in the hotel room, it feels like it takes minutes for us to realize. Like we're moving in my head, I'm like, feels like we're moving in his head, feels like we're moving. It takes us so long to look at each other and we're like, are we moving? It's you a strange feel it. feeling you can't explain because you know something is like off, but you can't like- And you don't want to be like, it's kind of embarrassing. There's this yeah, moment yeah. where you're excited, but like you, we, I need to start practicing when you feel one, get under something out of safety. But like, you're like, but I'm you also not like, Wait, no, I feel like there's a certain point during an earthquake where like, you know, it's serious. Like when it's just shaking, it's fine, but like, when shit starts rocking, I think because it, it takes time. It doesn't happen in like five seconds. Yeah, Earthquake will go on for yeah. at least like a minute. Being on the second floor, I was like, the top's gonna collapse on me. If I'm under a bed, then I would feel even more and trapped. Those, and those floors were creaking. Every, every step that I took in our hotel room, Yeah. Thank goodness though, it did not happen during the wedding. I feel like that would just be like, the really worst time. Like yes. it's your most precious moment and you think that like the gods are just like giving you this like <laughs> yes. sign. But uh, imagine Joe, like when he did, like he, he uh, smashed the, the yeah. cup of his oh. eyes. <laughs> oh, that would be crazy. Would I'm that. sure somebody out there has a, like a perfect timed <laughs> scenario where something did happen exactly. 100%. Oh yeah. Have you ever heard of that, about that tradition called burying the whiskey? Yeah, yeah no. I, I heard, heard you telling it. somebody about that at the wedding. So I've been like learning about it from friends and family who've been getting married is that a way to, it's like a superstition, a way to prevent it from raining or hopefully, yeah, this prevents it from raining. You get a bottle of whiskey, you go to the place where you're getting married and you bury it. Ahead of time. Ahead of time. I think it may be like a month in advance, but, or a week, a couple days, you bury it and then Apparently that prevents the rain hmm. from happening. And then oh. you go and get the whiskey and you have a shot with it. So Science. after this, so Patricia and I were like, cause we've been like, nah, we're not gonna do that. But then I'm like, maybe we just should just in case. I feel like that's for 
the people working at the venue, they just say that they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah bury, bury some whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> and then they're just like, and they're like collecting all of them. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like something Dwight Schrute's family would make up. Yeah. yeah bury bury a beat in the backyard. A beat. But um, yeah, it turned, it turned out beautiful. The yeah. it, like overcast is the best weather for the lighting was perfect too. for pictures yeah. for the lighting everybody. was good. Nobody cared that they were getting a little wet. Like the rain kind of made it like more romantic in a way. Like it, it felt more intimate. It mm-hmm. felt more emotional. Agreed. Yeah. We got to tell you what happened on the way driving up to the wedding. Please. Okay. It's embarrassing. So <laughs> we're driving, we're on the highway and I'm just sitting there looking out and I see three planes in the distance. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And then they go sideways and start diving towards the ground, towards the center of the highway. <gasps> and I lean forward, I'm watching this. I'm like, Zane, do you see this right now? Look at these planes. And it dives completely and it goes underneath a tree and I don't see the plane. And then I see two other ones come up. And I'm like, that plane just crashed. <laughs> I was like, that plane literally just nosedived into the ground. He's like, what are you talking about? And we keep driving a second later, big black smoke. smoke. What? Black and then we're just like, I'm like, oh my God. Immediately I pulled my phone out. I was like, we're under attack. We're under attack. And I Zane start is screaming. We have to exit. We have, we have to, to get exit He now. takes his belt off and he's like, "Get off the highway! Get off the highway!" Put your belt, Matt. They were so low. They were like fighter jets, like attacking. Wait, do you think that the one plane crashed or? So we saw the. This the is smoke all. Go this up. is all we see. This it's is just all happening see. so rapidly. I'm like, oh my god, something's going on. And then I'm like, oh my god, there's a cop up ahead. Feels, Why is nobody it going? It feels like we're in a trance because nobody's reacting. Nobody's looking up at the sky. We're the only ones seeing this black smoke and oh i'm like my. why is nobody I'm, reacting i'm looking it's like world war ii fighter planes and i'm like what is going on? like i'm like there's a literal dog fight happening over the highway right, right now and nobody's freaking out <laughs> we're all sitting there like i knew i knew i felt something when i woke up like something, i'm like i was gonna go wrong i had a bad today. gut feeling i'm like this is it and I, we're all like yeah us too <laughs> The hurricane, the fires. We're like, this is war. We're being attacked. Yeah. So what so ends up happening? Little little Google search. <laughs> we keep driving. <laughs> little Google search. I put the date and I put the location and it is a show. Oh. <laughs> a performance, if you will. Some theater. But, but Matt, Some I'm theater. telling you. It you was a World War II reenactment. <laughs> Event. Oh my goodness. So what, during the middle of this, it, it coming in a hurricane? It is in a, it's a, in a horrible spot. Yes. If you don't know that and you see a reenactment <laughs> of a dog fight, yeah. it was insane. And there was like, they kept like popping smoke. And where were you? Were you in like Thousand Cam- Oaks? Camarillo. Camarillo. So that's like further, further out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, there was no people on the side. There was no like sideline to watch it. There was, it was just over the sky. That's why I asked, I was like, where are the people watching? But it, that, those were the dates that it was. So weird. Whoa. I had the video though. So like, we're, of, oh, us just, just freaking screaming. out for like three minutes. I knew it. I knew something was gonna happen. Yo, we got real quiet so, as soon as we said that. <gasps> music, oh, yeah. music down, everybody's <laughs> oh, silent. A moment of silence, yeah. Yo, it was just really so embarrassing. Soaking in the embarrassment. Out, nobody said anything. We weren't like, oh, you're stupid. It was just like, yeah. we all felt the embarrassment yeah. of like that freak out. Cause we were trying to find, like the, the cop on the highway, he was just pulling someone over. <laughs> We were like, yeah. there's police. Like, <laughs> just everything was like panic. assigned to us in the moment. <laughs> I wow. knew it. And it we were, and you know, we had no food. We have no, we had no weapons. Like, we were not prepared for this war. <laughs> <laughs> and, but him taking his seatbelt off was <laughs> the first. I, I say, get off the exit. Yeah. I say, get off the highway now. I was so freaked out. I bought those. Uh, the little hammers that can break a window glass. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Good. Are you talking car? about like the? Yeah, it's one of those, but it's this one kind of looks more like a hammer, but it has that like it basically it's has like a, that. Oh, okay, it's not okay. a keychain version, but it's like yeah. almost like a wrench. That's kind of wild though that a hammer really doesn't break a car window. It has to like you have to also hit the corners of it too. Yeah. That's just uh, it's interesting. Or the one that looks like a hair tie with a little ball at the end of it. Mm-hmm. You pull it back and it snaps. You do like you do like this, and you pull it, and it'll shatter. The oh, Crazy. Um, but they have some cool tools. Like you get the seatbelt cutter one with the punch. Yeah, that's what I bought, the orange one that has a seatbelt cover. I think I was just so excited to like have to a new use gadget. it. Yeah. Or like also, you know, have a defender. I was like, I want to go in a flood. Right. I was <laughs> like, as much as I didn't want to happen, I think deep down I really just wanted to press it's like nice water mode. You could. Yeah, I was watching videos of people just going through rivers and I'm like. That must be feel so good, like pressing on that glass. And yeah, but I know my intrusive thoughts are just like, I just want to do just, it. Oh, just with shaft, just get a new windshield. You ever seen like spark plugs? Like uh, the way they will like shatter glass. 
Like a spark plug that's in a car? For a car, if you take it and you just toss it onto glass lightly, the entire thing what? will completely shat. Jordan, look up a video. Do a lot of people do this? Is it way... I don't know, but it's crazy. Like, you could see people doing it to, like, vending machine glass, car glass, everything. Ooh, vending machine. That's not, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> so look at that tiny little piece. That? No, the plug. Or Oh, he just... That's... Oh... What? Whoa. Whoa! That looks like a little piece of plastic. What is it's a spark crazy. plug? Wait, it's like porcelain something. I don't what? like the fragments of it. Just like pierce that, through there's it. There's something about That's it. That's sick. Every car should come with a little Ziploc. Oh, just know, a little handful. <laughs> oh, you know that shit would hurt too if you threw that at somebody. Oh my god, what would it do to a person? <laughs> We should have that in our pockets for war. Just a handful of like it in dust, like somebody wearing glasses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the food was so good that they had. Oh my God, they oh. had the Michelin star pizza. Like, So I didn't realize, I thought there was like two food options when it comes to wedding. You could do buffet style or you do like the plate where you pick what you want. But they did it as a family style. And I was like, that's genius. I never thought about doing that for a wedding. Oh yeah, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I made and it. Each just... section had their own like food. You didn't have to. I don't. I really like that because you get to like try everything without having to like go back and forth for. You it don't was, feel like, like a... you're forced to like right. eat it. You can kind of make your own plate. And it's like... also cheaper too because it's so expensive to get like per person a plate and like not everybody's gonna eat like yeah. everything how, on their plate. How was your table with following the rules of the passing? Um, I was, well, I, some people from the other table kept trying to pass it over. I go, no, that's, yeah, yeah, that's Jason. we were the other table. Yeah. That was Jason. He didn't know. He didn't follow any of the rules. The the caterers came over and explained to us, like it was yeah. one long table, but they were clearly divided. So she said, it's one plate per table. So don't pass it to that person. Pass it in a circle. Yeah. And of course, Just basic rules way over his head <laughs> starts passing it to the other side. So we didn't get salad, macaroni. Did, we had to ask them. There was macaroni. You see, didn't get any. Didn't I didn't get any pizza. macaroni. Damn. You didn't? It no. was fusilli and spaghetti. Oh, right? oh, I thought wait, you meant wait. like mac and cheese macaroni. Oh, I, yeah, like, I don't remember I, that. Yeah, she she, she yeah, calls any that. type of pasta macaroni. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's it's, weird. It's I don't all like macaroni that. or it's either macaroni or spaghetti. No, it's it's pasta. <laughs> I started saying pasta. I'm try I'm trying to get used That's to good. it. Jason, you're, you're in America. Jason, speaks you're American. <laughs> Patricia and I, we were at the bathroom, and then you know how like their the bathroom there was like near the the owner's house, like garage yeah. kind yeah. of area. And we walked out of the bathroom, and we saw this like really kind of rich, nice looking guy like talking to some of the employees, and we were like, "That's the." Oh, that has you to be saw the it? owner. No way. And we're like, wow, yeah, that's definitely him. He definitely has the vibe. And we're like, he's probably old money too. His dad was probably rich. Patricia and I are yeah, like yeah, yeah. having Making this whole image of him. him. We're like, yeah, for sure. And then we go down when we're doing like the the hava or whatever. Yeah. I realize it's the ice cream guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was the guy who was the serving out ice dude? cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that's that whole real. time I thought it was. That <laughs> feeling was equivalent to us in the car with the Jets. Like, yeah. We were like assuming we were so right. That's really funny. That, that little gelato couple, that was cute. But yeah, the, the gelato was banging. Mm. Oh. oh, and the music was great. Oh, that and then found out it was a, a there, it was like a Jewish style wedding. Didn't know who was Jewish. Didn't know if it was Joe. Caitlin or Joe. Joe, I think is half no, Jewish. No, it's not Joe, no, it's Caitlin. Jewish. What? Yeah. It's yeah. Caitlin. At first I thought it was Joe. And then I was like, I didn't know Joe was Jewish. I was from New Jersey. Caitlin. A lot of Jews are from Jersey. No, it was Caitlin. I, I need to learn about my friends a little bit more. <laughs> oh yeah, and the surprise that they were already married. Yeah, I, didn't know I wasn't yeah. shocked at all. As soon as I said, I was like, "No surprise." Yeah, their first date they got they got married on July 11th. They actually met on my birthday, Caitlin and Joe. At your birthday? No, they met just on right? July okay. 9th. Or I don't know. I was I was taking a pee at Joe's house, and like above their toilet was like the stars on the day we first met. You know those little right. things. Oh, it was like I July was 9th. That too. And I was like, "That's my birthday." He, their bathroom is like a shrine of them. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's That's just funny. a bunch of pictures of them in the bathroom. <laughs> it looks like their bedroom. That's <laughs> funny. The, the guest bathroom it's so funny how late did you guys stay partying up i kind of whenever like, heath and mariah left we, i know it was going on for another hour kayla wanted to keep it going there was she, like a, a noise ordinance that okay after so we left when they they go okay guys no more music everybody's got to keep it down stay have some drinks if you want um but it has to be quiet uh so we're like okay all right shit well we'll go back get changed figured everybody would be like doing something after but uh, you guys stayed and party for like another hour. Yeah, we we were there for another hour. We we're just like dancing with no music, pretty much. And oh, I snapped the chair. My snap snapped my chair in half. The first five minutes of the Ooh. wedding. Did you just have a bad chair, or did you really I, like? No, no. I was I literally I was sitting there just 
I, I, no, I, I he was leaning back and I was like, why don't you just sit up straight? And he was like, I'm tired. <laughs> snap. No, that was after it snapped. <laughs> well, I don't that think I have enough like force to my body to make that snap. Uh, you know what? Maybe I think I was just, I was like really relying on that back <laughs> of my chair. I'm also like, you know, I'm getting all this muscle now. So maybe <laughs> yeah. it was just too strong. It was too just too strong. heavy. It was just too heavy. Um, it, f it felt like, it felt like we were in a classroom. Like yeah. I, when we were all sitting there, I was like, I feel like we're about to misbehave, but like we really shouldn't. But like, I want to like pass notes in the back because Ooh. we were all. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It, it was cute. Oh, I definitely teared up when I saw Joe's face. Yeah. Looking at Caitlin the whole time. That one. Normally I don't get emotional like that. So I'm emotional. I'm, I'm a, uh, what's it? Sympathy, like sympathy. I'm not, I don't get emotional when, with happy things. I get emotional with sad things. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that was the first time where I was just like, Tears of uh -oh, happiness, first one. Uh oh. That's great. I know. It was really special. Yeah, he really loves that. He does. Oh, we, we went back to, <laughs> we went back to the hotel room after and kept the night going. Everybody was completely like hammered, Trash. right? Danielle, the worst. She, she was, was the worst. That girl does not early. know how to stop <laughs> drinking. Like, I know I have my nights, but I swear that girl, there is no off it. Like, yeah, she'll it's, just start it's, talking. It's just, like, it and, just yeah. keeps on going with Danielle. It's crazy. And you just, like, I've never had to tell, like, a specific person and just say, hey, you should really drink water. I'm worried <laughs> for you. And she's just like, fuck you, Zane. I always have your back. <laughs> that's just like her first line anytime i say she needs to drink some water i always have your i back. always have your bag zane i'm like that's not the danielle you need to drink water you look like you're about to pa like <laughs> we went back to the room and we were playing this game that ella found where it was like a like a naughty game things got naughty. real naughty. things got real naughty real naughty um what is the game i don't know it was a game where it was like Kiss the person to the left if blah, 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 blah. Is it a, a card yeah. game or like an app? You put your names in the app and then the app will come up with like oh, things. So I think I played this. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Zane, but, is this why but, you don't, you but, forgot your hat in the room? Maybe. I, yeah, I might have left it in uh, somebody's room. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have my hat. Oh, you hooked today. up with a wedding guest? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe not. <laughs> Rhymes with Bella. Did Tia. you really? No, I'm kidding. No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> with, yeah. My little Indian princess. Yes, okay. I did. <laughs> I, yes, I did. Yeah, no, uh, that's it. And then we ended the night. We were so loud in that room. I'm surprised nobody kicked us out. It was loud in there. I heard oh, it. Oh, we just thought it was another earthquake. Oh, you, you were, you're under, uh, we're in David's room. Did the girls go back to their room after? Yeah. It was also a Sunday I night. I heard them, yeah. People, yeah sun but I think people like on their vacations like leave Sunday. And people probably thought it was like a hurricane and like an earthquake at the same time. Yeah, yeah it was so. Hillary making yeah. all that noise. It was just so funny seeing all the like the TikToks about like South or uh, South Carolina not getting not preparing for this weather or something like that, and just everybody just like on the beach, like no Southern California, Su Southern California, that's South, South Carolina, South Carolina, oh, just, <laughs> that's on the other coast. Saying he knows where it is. Did you see? Did you <laughs> see think. the um, like the Project <laughs> X party? That no. was going like viral on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Oh, hysterical. It was like Hurricane <laughs> Hillary, like the TikTok account Hurricane Hillary posted it. It was like pretty much the hurricane promoting him, the, like herself. Uh, <laughs> TikTok. And it was like, uh, in Southern California, we don't prepare, we party. And then it was like this Burr, music. Where, and it was like party information. Oh, God. Southern California, Sunday, like be there. Everyone's like, where, where, where I'm coming? Nobody got it. <laughs> We're so unserious, <laughs> but it is fun. Like, I think we were also, of course it's good to be prepared, but most people are from Florida and the East coast and like, we're yeah, used yeah, to the, it. Guys, yeah. the hurricanes that we get through Florida are nasty, but like all you, like we're, our houses are so prepared. We got the shutters. We got yeah. the roof. We, our houses are fucking strong out in Florida. Like if the, any of those hurricanes hit here. Yeah. It'd be yeah. really bad. But I saw all those videos like Palm Springs and Vegas. They got hit hard. Palm Springs Mexico, was Vegas, really so bad. bad. So that's why I thought like, oh, we're definitely getting hit in Santa Barbara. Vegas like, there's no way. Me. So I looked at the live map. It was perfectly not, it, it perfectly did not hit us. Like it was, oh, the hurricane was everywhere on this side and that sliver was us wow. and it didn't hit us. We got really lucky with that storm. But now there's how many more behind this? There's, There's like more? four other ones, right? Bring what? it on. <laughs> well, yeah, I just I wanted to I just wish I could have snuggled up like 
during the rain though. Like yeah. I, I, I wish I had like, some cozy time. Book. I love not doing anything during a hurricane. Oh, and the, the, the electricity goes off. You know, no yeah. AC. It's just hot as hell. <laughs> uh, I loved. I loved hurricane. Like back when in Florida, we play board games all night. We light up the candles. Yeah, it's fun because you like you bust out your like handheld video game thing. Yes, and then they die in like three hours, and you're like, well, what do I do for the rest of this time? They you didn't did have a generator? No, we didn't. Mm. Like a gas generator? That was to, one thing. Yeah, I like had, a generator. Like yeah. We have generators. Generator. I was so jealous of everybody. If you had a generator on the block. Ooh, there yeah, was, everybody would everybody ask would you for your, your generator. Yeah, yeah, but that shit was loud. Yeah. yeah, and expensive. It was expensive to get a, like to have a generator yeah. on you. Like your if you had a generator, it would be the streets generator. Like everybody would come How over. To use it. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, HelloFresh. And if you live under a rock and you don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a food delivery service where you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit, baby. Want to know the key to dinnertime success? It's variety. And HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40 chef-crafted recipes to select from every single week. From family-friendly to fit and wholesome, you'll always find something new and exciting to try every time. And here's the thing. You've got places to be, and standing in the checkout line is not one of them. Leave the meal planning and grocery shopping to HelloFresh. With pre-portioned ingredients and easy step-by-step -step recipes delivered to your door, you'll save so much time and cut out that hassle, baby. <laughs> on the neck. And the best part about HelloFresh is that you get to try something new that you never thought you would have. And it's such a rewarding feeling when you see the picture on the box and it gives you all your ingredients and then it looks exactly like that when you're done. Oh, and I and I try to uh, match exactly to the picture too. I'll like take that, mm -hmm. like sometimes I'll have that like, little squiggle oh, yeah, on the yeah, side yeah. and I'll do the exact same thing. And I have just enough <laughs> ingredients to get that picture exactly right. Exactly. And it tastes amazing. And nothing is getting wasted. Usually when you grocery shop, you're stuck with a bunch of extra ingredients that you end up throwing in the trash anyways because you yeah. don't need it. It gives you exactly what you need in the box so you don't have to worry. Yeah, exactly. So be like us, baby. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 unfiltered and use code 50 unfiltered for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, all you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 unfiltered and use code 50 unfiltered. You're going to get 50% off plus free shipping. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring another episode of the Unfiltered Podcast. And thank you for meeting America's number one meal kit, baby. To the neck. <laughs> yeah, Patricia and I, we... Like we were like waiting at the hotel for like everybody to come back, uh, like towards like the late night at the end of the party, uh, because we thought everyone was coming back, and then we're like sitting there kind of waiting. We're like, oh. and I was I was already pretty drunk. Patricia hardly had anything to drink, and she was like, "What if we just went back now?" Like I was like, "Back to L.A.," and she's like, "Yeah, like I haven't drank anything. Let's go." Like and at I, night? Oh, oh, like that night? Yeah, like right around midnight. And I was like, "Actually, that does sound kind of nice." We pulled it up, and it was like an hour to get home. Oh like, all yeah. The way from santa barbara that's like half the time and we're like damn that would be pretty nice let's go so we got out of there drive all the way back and it was fine on the roads until we got into la and it was pouring hard oh really big deep yeah it's super uh intense in la and we pull up to our house and uh the house was <laughs> well it's raining hard and we walk up and our front door is like open, like cracked open. Uh oh. And I'm like, like instantly my heart sinks and I'm like, oh my gosh. And we have a gate to like enter our place. That's like locked, which like normally randomly isn't, but like usually we lock it. Yeah. And her neighbor was out of town. I'm like, how the hell did this like lock yeah. up? So I'm freaked out thinking that someone has like found their way into the home. And yeah. then locked the gate. Yeah. And like our door is like, now it's all like fixed and uh, repaired and stuff, but it's like a home from like 1925. It's a curved like hobbit door. You can't replace those. And we've already had like gaps. It's like sometimes the door's like stuck. Sometimes it's like super loose. Wait, was it'll, this the door like that? Swell is, when it this gets is the wet. door that connects to your up to your build your yeah. apartment. His yeah, yeah. front door. It's, it's our front door cracked open, and I'm like, what? And we have all like our Amazon packages. They're like soaked. We're bringing oh, it in. No. But I'm like, stay back. I'm going in, checking out the place. And the area where we thought that there was going to be a leak in our kitchen that happened like before, there wasn't a leak there. And I was like, whoo, okay, good. But I got to go check all the closets and everything around the house. And I'm walking around just with my flashlight on. Like I was, <laughs> I was pretty spooked. And was I your go power out? Um, no, it wasn't out, but uh, I don't know. I was just Well, did like, you check the safe behind the painting? <laughs> oh yeah, my very important safe yeah. with all of my valuables and diamonds in. Uh no, that's <laughs> Okay, so 
Wait, so the door was open. You guys definitely locked it before leaving. We did, but the way, because it expands, like when it's hot and cold, it like the moisture, open. like it just slipped open. Even even with the lock, like that extra. Buddy, it's now it's all like fixed, but it was just. Well, it, you know what it is? It's the termites. Oh, mm. There is like some wood rot termites issues. Termites, I was, love the rainy weather. But I go in then into our guest bedroom and then that closet is where I have all of my clothes. And then right when I walk in and I'm like, I hear this like pitter patter like sound. And I'm like, what is that? Hillary. I open up, <laughs> I raccoon. open up the closet. Water is just coming all into my closet all over my clothes no all of it it was like coming out of like a smoke detector or like a light or oh, a thing and it's on. just it is pouring did and you get I'm a like, video so, oh yeah i got a video because i'm like sending it to the landlord and i'm like we have a leak was, right was now it, was it already like was it like was it water still coming down yes through the, when yes you looked? so it got so heavy on the first rack of all my clothes it, all oh. of those fell and i'm like gosh and then then I'm like trying to save the rest of my clothes. And as I'm like grabbing it, that whole part, that breaks off. And now I'm just, it, I'm no. just imagining just a pipe going, <laughs> and so all my clothes, they go all down onto this huge wet floor. It's all soaked. Well, you know what? Good thing you went home early to yeah. catch that shit. Oh, like cause that. it would have been even worse. It would have been way worse. So now half of my clothes and then, so then we were already like so exhausted. Oh, is that why you're wearing that shirt? Yeah, because this is like <laughs> the only clothes I have left. And I know other people lose much, much terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It just, it's so, and it's like, and it was all my. Oh, like, he starts crying. like, okay, now, now, now this is. Now it's too much. Kim, there's people that are dying. It was all of my nice, nice clothes. Like, yeah, it was no, my that expensive sucks. sweaters. That sucks. That sucks. And I'm like, yeah, it's oh. Frustrating. And so then we like went to bed, but I had to stack up all like the wet clothes and on top of the dry clothes. And that made even all the other clothes get more wet and now it smells like mildew. I'm now having to I like, and, I, and there's so many clothes where it's like, I don't even have enough like time to wash the clothes. And you know, you know what ended up being dry only? Pro the towels. Yeah. <laughs> the things that are meant to be wet. I all know. the towels and the paper towels, all that dry. So it just smells like mildew and Patricia's still washing my clothes, but I gotta get like someone to come or I'm having a laundry person pick it up to finish the rest of it. Interesting. I, and they you know charge what? you by the weight though at and laundry wet. places and it's already wet. Oh, so it's like no. doubled. <laughs> doubled. Oh, he was probably, he was probably getting yeah. all those wet clothes. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, we got, well, you got to weigh them. We got to weigh them. But hopefully my renter's insurance can like at least cover the cleaning of the clothes. Do you think? No, probably I think not. they'll cover the damage. Uh, if you had any like electronics in there or anything, but like your clothes. So should I just say that all my clothes are ruined? Your clothes aren't ruined though. <laughs> they're like, but sir, they're just to pay. <laughs> yeah, it's like running in the rain in your outfit. Yeah, you, you can't really You just have to wash that. it. It's not ruined, but yeah. it's just. Annoying. It's just annoying. Damn, yeah. my man thought he's gonna come up on a whole, <laughs> a whole new world. I, I would love to see that evil though. Yeah. That said, my clothes are wet, and I expect. <laughs> yeah, I did just send in that claim. <laughs> oh, you no. did? I did. Just like, <laughs> did you? What, did you say in the video like, who's going to be like, who's going to be paying for my? No, I was just telling my landlord that the leak needs to be fixed as soon as yeah. possible, and especially if there's another storm coming, like. Somebody needs to be held accountable. <laughs> you know what they mm -hmm. do? Oh, it's just annoying. Like you know that. what? I should have checked all my like closets and shit. I didn't even think to do that. Like after we got back. You have a pretty new house though. So with all the ants coming through, I don't know, man. There's a lot of holes in ants. crannies up in that house. <sighs> so yeah, all my clothes are soaked. I'm surprised it took us no time to get back. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, that was awesome. We took our time. We got up. We went and found a cute little coffee spot. Oh, you know you know those like little plazas? Those little plazas where you go and you're like, celebrities definitely go here. Yeah. Like it, it has great. that like little niche, like yeah. hidden like feel to it. As soon as you walked in there, we're like, oh, we're going to see Bashem, Steve Bashemi somewhere for sure. <laughs> Only took us like an hour and a half to get home. Yeah, well, yeah. Nothing, yeah. Yeah, we got really lucky. Mm -hmm. Did you have any leaks here? Or like any damage to um, your house? Just in our normal spots, yeah. the, the kitchen, but we the have, living room, we have the guest like house. Bowl, you, you could see when you go out, we have bowls just set there. They're they just, just permanently. <laughs> oh, just, just like ever, just all the time or just when? It's just, no, if you they look in the, there. it's always there. You come leaves. home, Dino is all wet. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> just, that's what I was scared of. I texted Jordan and I was like, how's he doing with the rain? Because I just imagine we like to leave the little window open by, I just imagined him soaked. I really did. <laughs> Poor, Poor thing. thing. Jordan, Jordan was like, he's literally fine. Drenched. Dude, imagine if this set had a leak though. That would, 
Oh, yeah. that insurance. Ooh, we we yeah. get everything covered. Right, everything. Right. Yeah. Like, what if I was gone out of town and I came back and my clothes like had just been sitting there wet and they were moldy? <laughs> Matt, Do you you're think not was renter clothes. insurance cover that? That renter does not cover. It's like broken electronics it's like thousands or, of dollars or expensive. Of if your couch got r completely ruined then they would cover that because like, that's like- Like clothes can be washed. Yeah, you, you get like- But it's so many okay, clothes. Okay, so like so they Matt, burned if, in a fire. Yeah, if it caught fire and they were gone, you'd then you'd get it covered. Maybe. Depending on the insurance. <laughs> you have to have fire insurance, apparently. Yeah. Yo, disaster insurance doesn't cover everything. It's just the- Shopping insurance. Just the regular disaster insurance. It's crazy insurance. that you have to have insurance for every single type. <laughs> oh. It's not just like home insurance. It's like home insurance. Oh, but make sure to get hurricane. Yeah. Hey, oh, oh, sorry, you didn't have tornado. Oh, wa there's walk-in closet and regular closet it's like, insurance. I just want to have it insured. Like, it's crazy <laughs> you have to do each fucking package. Yeah. Oh, and if you don't have a certain amount, damn it, uh, oh, uh, we won't cover it. Forget it. Oh no, you have to destroy this much more amount of things for us to cover it. It's like health insurance. Why is there health insurance, dental insurance? Like it's just, all health. Just give me body insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with my body. How about just do it for free because we love each other. How about give me ass insurance? What? I want to get a new fucking ass. Give I want to my BBL. Yeah. What, what is dismemberment insurance? Is that like if you lose a limb? So if you're working and say um, you do construction, something with your hands and you lose a limb and you can no longer do that job. Okay. You can have insurance for that that would cover you for X amount of time because you can't do that anymore. Okay. But you have to get the insurance past the elbow because if you if you have to amputate lower than the elbow, then they're not gonna cover it because you need to so get- So like I have yeah. insurance for, for my business for my voice. If something happens where I can't talk- Wait, you do? You do? Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, bougie bitch. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, you okay, don't. Ariana. Dead Wait, ass. No, you don't. Okay, Taylor Swift. I didn't know that. Baby, we covered. What about my, what if, what if I lose, I lose my voice every fucking week? Yeah, what Zane about me? Should, Zane should really. Where's no, my, it where's was, my it like, insurance? It was like one of those things where you have to like check off. Like it was like, wait, is this what? part of your health this insurance like or your own? No, like business insurance. So you, if you like personal, not personally, if you permanently lose your voice, you mean? Yeah. And then you get a big payout and none of us get. Yeah. What, the, what about, how does that affect Pete, our what about cat? Me? That uh, affects the rest baby, of that's half my get? business. <laughs> Where's my insurance? Imagine me having to run this podcast by myself. Oh my fuck! Yeah, I actually can't imagine at all. And you, and you know what that means? I'd get the hundred percent. I'll pay. I'll is it pay cheap? You You're serious? Oh my god! Why am I attacked? No, is it cheap? Like it's it's like a whole plan type thing. I literally don't know how much. Oh, that oh is. so it's, it's a under... whole it's a whole plan. Oh, whole, uh, oh so you planning everything? Out. <laughs> oh, so you planning on leaving me? Oh, got it, got it. Okay, uh -huh. so it's a. It's a umbrella and there's little check marks underneath, like voice and- Like I said, there's different things. Like if you have a specific job type to be able to be covered for, I think it's like a certain like number of years to where if you can't be doing that job anymore. You got hair transplants covered under that? No, I wish, because <laughs> I have another one. I, I think we should because we're on camera and people make fun of our receding hairlines. I and I think that that's like, that's mental, like mental health. Like type shit, you know? So. That That's so like crazy. mental health type shit. I can't you know? believe you're fighting for a third hair transplant right now. <laughs> like, I, I, I told you, I told you the wedding, I'm like, I'm getting my third one. Dude, your hair looks fine. Uh, and what, and what? At and the, what? the wedding, <laughs> I even was like behind you and I was looking at your hair, I'm like, his hair is looking great. Yeah, and it could look better. He, and it could look better. He will not stop. <laughs> it's gonna be like. I will keep, I will keep going. Cause you know, I could always cut, right? I wanna, I wanna look like Jesus and Wolverine at the same time. <laughs> By oh. the end of this. All right. I want to die, Harry. Still wears a hat. <laughs> <laughs> and bleaches it. Bleaches it and oh wears a hat. Gosh. I need another hair transplant. Every time Zane bleaches hair, he goes, I got to stop doing this. <laughs> yeah, that's like frying your you hair. Think? Look, I don't, it's not frying it because my hairs are still there, right? Okay. They're still there. I'm, I mean, it's like, it's like when you're working out and you, you eat something bad. You know what I mean? You're like, I can afford to do this because I did this. Yes. It's that type of mentality. Don't do that. You're, you're on my side. You're on my team. I'm helping. Do you? I always have your back. <laughs> do you have life insurance? Yes. Yeah. I don't. My dad was so mad because he had to get the gallbladder removed. Yeah. And if it would have happened a couple weeks later, it would have been covered under Medicare. Oh. And like completely free. Oh, because it's birthday. Yeah. Because oh. he's about to turn 60. 
four oh. sixty five, whatever oh. it is. And it was just a couple weeks early that this happened. Um, so now he has insurance, but he still has to pay an insane amount for it. That's yeah. why it's, it's, it's a scam. And then and it also said that he needed to have thirty five gall bladder stones, and he only had thirty, so they were not going to cover that. Yeah, either. they only cover like twenty five. Is that then, true? Is he so just making now he's shit out up? Of ass. Yeah. <laughs> Your father doesn't deserve that. I, I don't know. The the whole insurance game is all. I think I'm going to run it. I, I think I'm, I'm going to own an insurance company. That's You know, insurance that's, companies make the most millionaires. They, and that's what that's I'm going to do. That's the thing to do. I think they're scam artists, but I think I'm going to run one. I'll be your first customer. Okay. Oh, no. Your you, first client. No, you could be my, secret, my, uh, my secretary. Oh, and I still won't get insurance. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't cover your employees. <laughs> Health insurance is expensive. Did you hear about the app? <laughs> Someone made an app where when you find poop on the ground, you you put it in the app. Kind of like when, uh, uh, you know, the scoot, like the bird app where it, like you look at the map and yeah. you see everywhere that has birds, uh -huh. that has scooters. They made one where there's poop. So no. every time you Wait, find poop, you put it. How'd you but, find that? <laughs> but when you go to the map, the map. <laughs> like someone. It, it's like ways when you see a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. Poop. Wait, who's doing that? Who's, who's I think like someone's no trolling it though. Like right now, if you pull it up, it's like Matt, poops you can everywhere. Make it, yeah. You can make an app for anything. Are there pictures of the poop? I feel like you uh, need to show, show a picture let, let, of the let, poop. Let me show you the. Yeah, prove it. <laughs> let me show you the app. We want to. All right, San Francisco's it. poop reporting app. Look, it's that's no. everybody that that uh <laughs> that puts in where they find poop on the yeah, ground. Yeah, but I bet that's like <laughs> people, tech guys who are trolling the app. I bet Honestly, there's a lot of poop in San Francisco, it. but like not that much. I'm telling you, man, it's real. That's crazy. Uh, that, oh, I when I saw a movie recently, I did that uh, Run P app while oh, I was did? watching it. When I was watching Talk to Me. Um, and it was great. It worked? Yes. Oh, it, cool. A little, but there's a little bit where it's well, he like, doesn't know wait, he you, missed, went, you went at the exact time that they said. Oh, yeah. So you pull out the Run P app right when the movie's starting, you start the timer and someone has already made like when you need to go pee and it will vibrate 30 seconds before they say you should go pee. Huh. But my only thing is it kind of fucks with like the pacing of the movie. So you're like, okay, something really climactic is about to happen. And then it's that you usually- you need to get back for. Oh, well, yeah. Are you kind of like, you're expecting like, it'll start, it'll vibrate. You're like, okay, something really climactic is about to happen. And then it does. And then you can leave. So oh, it's always wow. like- Oh. But does it, does it tell you like, you should get back now? Yeah, it counts down. What? Yeah, it That's does. That's so cool. That's so genius. And yeah, and I went and peed and I didn't miss a thing. Did you watch that movie yet? Talk to me. No, I don't even know oh, what it is. It's, it's really a dark. It's a. It's a um, dark scary. It's a, it's a ghost movie. You would love it. Yes. It's from New Zealand. Woohoo! Oh, you know who? Accents. You know who directed that movie? YouTubers. You remember Raka Raka? Oh, I did hear about that actually. Yeah, 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 yeah Todd yeah, yeah, yeah. had DMs with the director. Yeah, they're, they're saying they want to make a vi video with Todd, and he never like responded to them. <laughs> I bet he's. And they made a movie. Himself. They made a. Yeah, Todd punch in the air right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, he, Todd shadow boxing right now. <laughs> it was the guy who did like the crazy McDonald's creepy. Yeah. Videos, right? Didn't people say it's like the best horror movie to come out? I, in a I've long heard a lot time. of really good things. Yeah, it's which is it's, crazy. It's best of the year, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wow. definitely fun they they try to make it make it different and i think the acting was incredible um i like the end yeah yeah it was good it was a good it was a good like a24 film i would say what's that mean the good a20 uh, a24, a24 is a uh, production company right <laughs> mariah oh. they're, uh, <laughs> they're really they're really um <laughs> what i like about a24 is that i feel like they're just so picky with what they want to be a part of or what they want to stamp because a24 doesn't make the films they just like put their buy stamp it, on they it. buy it they buy yeah. it okay yeah but they, they buy, also do produce their own i know stuff i know well. but like a, a, a but a lot of movies they don't they're not really a part of but they just like yeah did you ever see bo is afraid no, but it's a horror. But they didn't. They didn't it's promote three it. Three hours like long. A, I finally watched it. It ain't, it ain't even worth it, oof, dude. It is yeah. stressful from the beginning. I'm afraid it's not a good movie. <laughs> it's. I mean, it definitely plays with the element of horror, but it's not the type of horror you want. Yeah, and it's not like Doc Scary. That's for sure. I saw Drake last night. Uh, you Really? Wait, yeah. Wait, went you to went Drake. to the concert? You went to yeah. Drake? Cody Co hit me up and he was like, yo, I got extra tickets. It looks really fun. It was, okay. It was pretty, I mean, it was pretty cool. It's Drake. But the beginning, he's like, I'm going to take y'all way back. And you're like, so excited. He's going to play his old songs. He was like speed running all of his songs. He was like rapping in like 1.5 times speed I, so he what? was like it was, I was faster hearing, uh, i was hearing people say that like he like it felt like you weren't he was just 
doing it to do it. Like he wasn't like, it wasn't like a show. Yeah. Like he, it wasn't like a performance. It was more like he a- He was kind of rushing it. Like it wasn't like a Kanye show. Kanye, I feel like puts on a spectacle. Yeah. This I was like, eh. And he would bring out these like floats and stuff throughout the show. And like one time he brought out like Scream and Scream was like going Whoa. around the audience with like a knife. And then he brought out Peter Pan at one point. <laughs> he was like soaring around. And brought out like a like a hentai girl. All like, right, so it was for like what? a it was for like it was a drug show. You had to like drop some acid and watch it. Remember how we talked about for concerts? I don't really enjoy them because they always change the rhythm yeah, yeah, of the yeah. song and the way it's sung. There was people posting at the Drake concert, and they were like me waiting to sing along, but Drake just keeps singing the song so different yeah. than what they originally are, and everyone's like, I can't even sing along to these. Yeah, I was a that little be, frustrated. That must feel so annoying, yeah. like to not be able to sing. Like with... it just doesn't scratch the itch. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, I thought Twenty One Savage though was like going to be the opener, but then he kind of came out like towards the end, and it was just the Twenty One Savage show. It was a little, oh, I don't know. All I right. was kind of. Mm. All right, I don't need to go. Mm, no, I don't think you're missing much. Um, I, I think did see I, he brought out a uh, Birkin bag for somebody. He did. That was the night before. Crazy. Wait, like just a random like a person that was yeah. on the show? Yeah, he just picked somebody. LeBron yeah. James like uh, escorted him like on onto the stage, oh, which was pretty cool. cool. Yeah, That's really cool. And Susie went. Yes. Susie did, or Susie, Jordan, did Susie go because of you? <laughs> Because I, I of you, oh, what did really? you do? Damn, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan making lives happen. She had a good seat. Good job, Dang. Jordan. Dang. Zach Bia was DJing too. <laughs> At the Drake show? At the huh? Drake show, like, he was almost like the opener. <laughs> and it was, it was pretty good. I was like, oh my God, it's Zach Bia. And then he played, like, Party in the USA. <laughs> like, it's his last song. It was so <laughs> interesting. Does he, is he also, like, performing, like, five nights, like Taylor Swift? Yeah, he already yeah. did, like, four nights at the Forum and then is doing, like, three nights at Crypto. Wow. Jeez. Isn't Beyonce, Beyonce is like doing like a, s a whole thing to her, a whole tour. Mm -hmm. Dude, the biggest artists right now are all on tour. It's insane. They know something we don't. Yeah. They're getting one more tour in before they lock us down oh, again. Oh, here okay, we go. So, so that's why, that's why Unfiltered needs to do a tour. Well, we have until September. <laughs> Should we? <laughs> Everything we say, we have to do on the show has to be shit that, that we've never talked about before. Yeah. And we talk, about, we talk way too much. So we've talked about everything. I so. think people just want to like, Meet us and see us. Like, oh. I, I don't, but like it's but people you wanna, are paying you money. People are paying. I want it to be like a yeah. Really you want good it to yeah. be like exclusive, almost like we're gonna tell you a story that like nobody else has heard. Exactly. It's yeah. hard when like something happens because immediately we're like we have to tell it on the podcast. We don't bottle up stories. We get excited and to save be able it for that. a reason. Yeah. So you know what? Why don't we make it juicy? We bring on some drama. We bring on some tea, huh? We bring on some crazy. Oh, shit. We should just that, go actually, and we say we say no phones. Oh, nobody we, can we nobody do the thing where they lock up the phone. Pe and people would be so pissed about that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, really? If no, I think they, they got the so excited to see us for the first time and they can't even document it. Like, who do we think we are? Yeah, but we do a meet no, and greet for everybody. Just, Matt, just locking up the phone during because, the show. So we can say shit that we would never say publicly on a podcast. Okay, yeah. I think we should just go party really hard the night before with everybody in their college town and then we like go You're talk a about creep. it. <laughs> Is that a creep? I don't know, but I thought but like we would Mac will not let college go. <laughs> Why don't we give them all massages? <laughs> no. Because we would have great stories about the night before. I know, but we can't go we can't go out like with college kids. Yeah, that's I'm, a little we're weird. We're like we're yeah, a little I guess too old so. now. Um I feel like there was one more thing I wanted to talk talk about. Oh yum, that's my kind of burger. Go back. The Burger King uh, new Just Cheese. Ew. This is just in Thailand. It's yeah. grilled cheese. No meat, no lettuce, tomato, pickles, nothing. Just 20 slices of cheese. Girl dinner. Ooh, but like McDonald's <laughs> cheese though. I bet that kind of, I, I would, I could take a bite out of that. I wouldn't eat the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, I could do a bite. It's kind of like cake. Like I'll do a bite. Have you had Taco Bell's like uh, grilled cheese taco thing that's no. out. They make that? Dude, Patricia and I got it when we were leaving Joe's wedding. Wait, it, it's, it's just cheese and taco? No, it's a taco with like chicken, but then they like grilled cheese on the side of it. And it tastes oh my gosh. so good. Is it like, a, it's oh. not, so it's not like a quesadilla? Is it more no, like No, it's more of a hard shell taco, but with like a uh, hard, like, Melted or, cheese on it. You know, we, like you know when you make some? like I'm so you know when down. you make like nachos at home. You put out like the Tostito yeah. chips. You get the shredded <clears throat> cheese. You heat it up, and it's that oh, nice. Okay. It's yeah. almost like bubbled and sizzled just right yes, on it. Okay, it's like that. What's it called? Uh, just go to the Taco Bell website. It has to be on there. Oh wait, go grilled or go home. Is that it? Or the... <laughs> <laughs> right, you should did work I write for them. that? I was just gonna say, did <clears throat> I write that? Honestly, those look it. like 
uh, the grilled your cheese. Oh, that photos. looks good, dude. Grilled cheese dipping taco, and it has that like mm. Taco yeah, Bell sauce Wait, on it. Wait, Matt, that actually reminds me of like the authentic, like, like the authentic birra way that tacos. They make tacos. You know how they like do, uh, they they, they drench it in that sauce. sauce. In the oil. <laughs> yes, shredded beef oh. grilled cheese. Okay, that looks bang. That yeah. does look incredible, oh, and the crunch is so good, and it has that Taco Bell kind of sauce on it. Wait you know, a second, it's only two hundred ninety calories. Oh, uh, that can be in my uh-huh. diet. Jordan, <laughs> order some for the unwind. Let's go, dude. I might. Oh, you know what we had um, after the wedding? Tell me, insomnia cookies. Ooh, yeah, insomnia, oh. dude. Unbelievable. Actually, that would let's give them a, let's give them a shout out because they did something so miraculous we ordered it for delivery right and it was like estimated delivery time was like 30 minutes an hour and a half goes by and i'm like okay something is clearly wrong it kept saying preparing preparing so i called the store and i'm like hey i placed an order um for delivery and i still haven't gotten it yet is like do you have an update on your end they were like oh yeah that a driver picked that up like 45 minutes ago. Uh, and they, and they stole- have their own personal driver. This wasn't like a random Postmates. They have a guy that runs and uh-huh. runs it to you. So they said, our driver grabbed it, the one that works for us. You should have gotten it an hour ago. Uh-oh. So I'm like, that's so weird. And uh, they were like, do you, do you still want it? And I was like, I mean, yeah, if we could still get the order, that'd be amazing. They go, uh, well, our driver's are done for the night so we don't have anybody to deliver it but i'll call you like an uber to take it to you <laughs> and i was like what the sweetest they were without like, yeah. hesitation they were like we'll just call you an uber and we'll we'll have them deliver oh, it to wow. you oh wow and i was like that, that, now that's that's, that's, customer, that's service. customer service and it was and, and what are you gonna do heath now you're gonna go to a somnia cookie every time you see it that's because right. of that one yes that's right. thing it also you. helps like when you respect them, they give you respect. They were so sweet. Damn. Yeah, they were really sweet. So shout out to them. I don't know what location, but it's it in Santa, Barbara. Santa Barbara. They don't do they don't have one here? I don't know if they do. Yeah, I'm, I feel I'm like I've sure. seen one. I think it Tips. I think it's all about crumble out here. People are uh, obsessed please. with those cookies. Get ready for Tiff's treats. They've been doing some pop ups. <laughs> Tiff's, Tiff's treats. treats. Get ready Dude, for Tiff's. It started in Austin. It is so good. They're my favorite cookies. Uh, what, what is it like a fat cookie, a skinny cookie? It's like it's fat. It's a fat cookie. But like People not love them like, fat cookies but not, these not days. like a, a disgustingly fat. Yeah. It's just that right type of mm. oh, oh, yeah. Easy. One that make you want to uh, they got like Snickerdoodle, <laughs> M M&M. M. Yeah, it started in the UT dorm rooms, and now what's it's like, like the the best uh, outside not insomnia, but what's like another really good just like fat cookie spot? Because like I've been dying for one around here. It, it's Great American Cookies still around yes. oh, at the my. mall, and they had that frosting one with the M and M's in it. They would have oh. it, it's raining where you find them, right? They'll come out of nowhere and be like, they "Have it you at wanna, the you wanna, Glendale wanna, Mall." Oh, Great American Cookies the or best. Mrs. Fields. Oh, Very that's what good. it is. It's Mrs. F- Mrs. Fields, the pizza cookie. Oh, yeah. So good. <laughs> Mrs. Fields makes like packaged cookies now, right? Or no? I'm not sure. You know what I did like back in the day? Grandma's cookies. No, the, that shit Those sucked. little single individual wrap ones. That shit ones. sucked. They were never good. I loved those. Because they yeah, taste like the chewy. They the taste time. like the chewy chips Dude, ahoy. That's chewy why. Chewy is so much better than crunchy. Yeah. God, do you like ch- chewy chips ahoy? Like the chewy kind? Yes. Yes. Chewy, yeah. you, Do you like jail. Chewy? Oh, <laughs> especially by a pool. Get Do out of like a pool chewy? and have a chewy Whoa. chips ahoy cookie. You guys are gross. Chewy yeah. cookie in general a, a over crunchy. Pool. Yes. <laughs> I don't Absolutely. want a mess. I don't want No, no, it's not the mess. It's the it's the taste. It's the flavor. Chewy is so much better. There's yeah. no way you possibly saying it's better. Chewy makes me want to end my life. Do you remember like Pepperidge Farm commercials? How it was like a mom's cookie. Oh, oh it is. My private little pepper, Pepperidge is. Farm. But obviously a kid doesn't even want a Pepperidge Farm because the packaging just doesn't I'm even not yeah, I know. It's, like I grandma, wanted, it's like a grandma look. Yeah. All I wanted were Milano's when I was young. Milano. Oh, I love and I think Milano's. I only wanted it because they were expensive and my mom told me that. Right. They are very, because they're Italian cookies. Ooh. Zane loves those, the Tates. Those are really Yeah, those oh are good. God, those, that's that, a, it's right yeah. in, baby. Oh. Tates are good. Are those elves still making cookies? Wait, what? The Keebler? <laughs> Wait, is that what they're called? The, the Keebler elves? The, yeah. The key, oh, the, um, yeah, yeah they, they still make those. Yeah, they do. Yeah, David actually buys them still. <laughs> He's five years old. <laughs> circus, circus animal cookies, though, are like the best. Oh, my, the frosted ones? Oh, oh my God. I just... 
Oh yeah, I'm like, no, put them in my shove squat. it up my ass. I <laughs> love those. I don't. Okay. Want, I, no, I. So every time I look at those, I get a little hot. You know I'm what? Sorry. I, I'm sorry. Sue me. Sue me. What are you gonna do? Only during Christmas time I get them. But do you have you ever had? It's like a little shortbread cookie, like smashed in the middle with a whole entire Hershey Kiss in the center of it. <laughs> yes, yes. People make those a lot. Yeah. Banging, but only it's crazy. During, That's not even like it's just a Hershey kiss on a on a short. I know, <laughs> but for some reason, once a year they hit harder uh -huh. than anything. You know, I've been fucking with lately, huh? The just just dark chocolate bark with like the pretzel and uh, the caramel uh, in it and the nuts. Per uh, it's, I only have like peppermint like chocolate bark. That's no, like, no, like I I don't like I no peppermint in it. Just everything else but the peppermint. Anything brittles. There's Brown, brittles? Br brownie brittles. Uh, oh, oh the, the, the package ones? Yes. I feel you like I only really get them good. at the airport. You could get them in a fucking tostito size bag of just brownie brittle, and it's unbelievable. And it's really good. You never had it? It's I, brownies, I like, but it's like chips. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, story. Denver Airport. Um, a pilot was like trying to leave a parking lot uh, recently, and I apparently there was like big hold up with like a bunch of cars were in line. The little um, what do you call the the like the little the, gate the little bar. gate thing the oh, bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't going up, and a pilot decides right. he's no. gonna solve. He's gonna save the day. Gets an axe out of his car, walks across the parking lot and starts hacking away Sick. at the uh, the parking hero. gate. Well, I don't know. Or it's a man having a mental breakdown and he just snapped. That's a guy who spent a lot of money on an ax that's kept it in his car waiting for the time for him to be able to use it. Better than a human. Look, Boom. Just oh, hacking wow. away at it. Wow. Oh my, and a dude, he's in his fucking work clothes. Yes, a pilot. That, see, that's what kind of is really unnerving I'm about it. Oh, that yeah. is, that, wait, I'm that's scared. really, that is really scary it that it's a pilot. It looks like he's just, tr like he wants to do it to something else and he's yes. just getting it out like he's having a bad day you think he would stop and be like hey it's okay i yeah. got it but like also, also you're damaging a property ones. like yeah. the, it's hold on you, hold on rewind what? that look at the walk up yeah with that it. Was, wait, wait wait that was that was like the shining yes dude oh, okay that walk yeah. oh, oh my god weird in a pilot don't you have to be pretty mentally sane to be a pilot yeah and then they they had to like take oh, him I down. Thought, oh i thought he was like slapping his oh my god he oh. just got elbowed yeah he won't let go of it. Oh, oh wow. Real. Yeah, he's having a. Uh, yeah. Oh, he was. Well, it's a United. That's why. That's why. Delta Delta would never. That's insane. Never. I can't believe they had to pry it from him like that. Yeah. yeah. What happened? I think he was having a bad day. Well, I think his flight probably got delayed for seven hours. You remember that? You, you, oh, you know, these young. flights are getting delayed. It was a long time. Yeah, a spirit flight stuck on the tarmac for seven hours hours yeah you saw that matt uh, i think i did i've been seeing a bunch of those yeah crazy oh and they didn't like offer water and stuff yeah i love the comments yup what but it was only thirty dollars oh yeah 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 <laughs> this yeah, is gonna but be the only... start of a serial killer yeah that's the start it. of a good show that's pretty insane to go out there like that and it also would have worked better just to like bend the arm because yes. I've done it and it breaks pretty easy. Yeah, Mariah, right? But yeah, like, we've done Mariah's it. really good at that. I also would get that if he was just not at the airport. You know, like if he just did that like randomly and he like snapped, but like you you are a pilot, but you are still in uniform. This area, this is the terrible. airport this is zone, <laughs> this is you're still at work. There's people sitting there in the chairs getting ready to board, looking out at all the planes. Yeah. yeah. Something must have made him yeah. snap that day. And I he wanna, was like, I'm, I get to we should, I think we should get him on. I think we should too. I want I could, to know. I don't know why I could see South Park doing a, a scene like this, <laughs> making fun of it. Yeah. But wait, why does he have an axe in his car? There's no reason. Right. He lives in Denver. I bet you deal with trees and stuff in the roads. But that's like- You're a pilot. That's a long time. You don't have, like, you I have would time to deal with trees. <laughs> Imagine having an axe a tree you out of your fly way. fly over it? <laughs> yeah, what? You ever seen those- uh, Ibn Dama. Uh, I think they're called burnas. It's like a- It's called a burka. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, it's a non-lethal, like pepper ball, pepper spray in a paintball, basically, but in a gun. No, it's like a, a self-defense thing. It's, it's like a, a bullet, but you just it shoot and explode out, or like it hits the target and then it explodes on impact like a paintball, but it's pepper spray in it. Oh, it's kind of sick. Pretty cool. Does it hurt? 
I would imagine like a paintball would. Yeah, paintballs but, do. But hurt. it's it's pepper, so it's gonna it's gonna it'll sting a little bit more. Pretty cool though. Those hats are really sick. I wish I didn't lose mine. Yeah, they're the, the fit best. Is oh, they're, aren't they so comfortable right now? So comfortable. Mine's comfortable too, but I just wish I had that one on. Is that Volpa's Villas? Mm-hmm. Volpa's Villas. Love it. All right, let's end it. Good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you end it? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is... <laughs> Not <laughs> Very good. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We post these episodes, audio version every Monday, video version every Tuesday. However... However... We post a couple days early. I try my best to get up as early as possible. For the Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Very good. We have Kremota Coffee. We, big things common. Check the Patreon for... Um, big things here. Exclusive. Yeah, big <laughs> things here. Exclusively on Patreon. If you're on Patreon, big things here. If you're not on Patreon, big things coming. <laughs> yeah. On the Patreon, you also get early access, like she said. But we do a bonus episode every single month. Drunk, high with a guest. We kind of switch it up, do a bunch of fun but things. But look, I'm not going to lie to you. We pretty much do bonus episodes every week because we keep these cameras rolling. That's right. After, Surprise! W- after we finish every episode. Recline and unwind. Yeah, we y'all sit w- back. You pretty much get another bonus episode every That's single right. week. I just want to let yeah. you know that. Patreon.com slash Zane and he. Cremona.com. Thank you very much. We got matcha. We got grinds. Mm. We got whole beans. We got espresso. Cake cups. We got this and who's a Watson and, mm. and that and X, Y, and Z. You name it, we got it. <laughs> and it, and Mariah's special macaron, ma, ma, macaronis. I just bought macaroni earrings. Anyway. Fun. Thank you. Thank well, you, Matt. thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love you. We'll see you next time. Toodaloo. On Zany Heath Unfiltered. Mm. Goodbye. Ciao. Peace.